Breathful day, breathful day, everyone. We have a basketball player overseas. I'm gonna give an intro. I'm gonna play some videos because he balls. He he be balling, <laughs> and he's been using the scalar projector for a while now. Let me see if I can pull it up. I don't know if it has any volume. Can you guys hear it? I doubt it, but. Whenever he's in here, we'll bring him up. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Pray, every, pray everyone is doing well today. Get your cardiac breathing in. We're on day number three, going on four tomorrow. But yeah, check out his highlights. He's pushing it. Let's see if I can get him in here. Hey, brother, are you in here? Let me know. Plus, okay. I see. Oh, there is it. Yeah, there is some crazy talent overseas outside the NBA. Even the NBA people will tell you that. Like, it's it's total total menace. Ah, oh, there you are, brother. You know. Okay. I was just giving you an <laughs> intro. All right, go live. Or if you can request, there you go, go live. Oh, there you go. Greetings, brother. Greetings, brother. How you doing? electrically well and you man i'm doing great yeah i was just giving them the intro <laughs> that's love man i appreciate that yeah you've been following me for a while and you've been using the scalar projector for a while and how do you even find me that's a great question man um i feel like i've probably been following you for about a year a year or so now um and i've always been interested you know in a lot of the things you've been speaking about especially Specifically breathing, you know, obviously being an athlete, um, being an athlete, your breath is obviously super important. Um, but there's a lot of things that you've been talking about and a lot of the gadgets that you have, you know, I've just been really curious about it. And I saw the projector and I was just, you know, I was blown away, honestly. Um, but just seeing a lot of the things that you were explaining on, on the uses of what it does, it really intrigued me. And I finally decided to just, you know, try it out um, specifically because I injured my shoulder a couple of months back, mm. you know, and I felt like it would be a great way to help um, recover my injury. And so, you know, I've been using it for about two months now, three months, and it's honestly changed, you know, my whole, not just my, my recovery aspect, you know, with my food, um, muscle soreness. You know, I use it before every practice, after every practice, on my knees specifically, right? And I've noticed a huge difference in just, um, for one, my energy levels, and even just my muscle soreness, you know? So it's been really cool to just experiment and, and use. Fire, fire. You said you've been, have you been consistently blasting your food? Have you been, is there like a consistent set of days where you've been, Blasting your food and everything you drink, like what's that been? Have you noticed a difference? Honestly, I haven't been as consistent as I should be. Um, but I remember one day I blasted my food for like 10 minutes, right? And, you know, as soon as I ate it, I don't know if it was a placebo <laughs> or, you know, if it was actually just like the, the machine just, I feel like a, a, a surge of energy, right? And even when I use it for meditation, 
you know um i can just feel like a a surge of energy it's 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 honestly crazy that's why i normally tell people one minute is enough but man 10 minutes straight literally like i was <laughs> i was determined <laughs> to really you know try and figure out what what it could do in terms of like my food you know so i blasted for about five minutes charged it right and it blasted it again and you know i feel like I've, i felt a difference honestly when i ate even with my water as well you know mm. and right. i actually have um an alkaline machine water filter right so i used that on top of blasting it and that was you know crazy experience so like i said it's been really cool to just experiment you know my food my body you know so i love it honestly so so now when you ball in in general or when you have a game or practice uh, afterwards you don't feel as sore anymore right it depends honestly because you know the way i practice and train out here i'm always going to be sore right <laughs> you're, pra you're practicing overseas yeah. so you know yeah. it's different out there it's always a grind out here so, yeah, I'm like, but, <laughs> but no honestly you know after every practice like and it's literally immediately right immediately when i use it on my knees like i just feel so much better you know and even beforehand you know because um before practice i do some stretching and things like that but kind of just to prepare my knees and my shoulder you know for training i do it for about 15 minutes um after practice i do for a lot longer and i definitely felt a big difference in my recovery mm -hmm. so you, do you, does your team like have a massage therapist or something in that regard um, yeah we do um we have like a physio something like a physio um but i haven't gotten any massages you know since i've been here i just normally just use either ice or um, use the machine honestly wow so how long have you been playing overseas for to be my fourth year overseas yeah and you're playing in turkey right correct Belikasir, to be exact. Fire! Wow. Uh, overall, just the experience, just playing overseas. Uh, what's that? You know, that mindset is totally different. Obviously, language, right. um, people in general. Just how how has it been overseas? Honestly, it's been it's been a blessing. You know, it's been a, for one to even be in this profession, to be professional basketball boss, basketball players. It's obviously a dream come true. For one, um, it's a blessing. And it's a grind, you know. Um, it's obviously challenging being in a new environment, a new space, new culture. But I see it as a growing experience, you know, being able to um, adapt, right? Because overseas, you don't know where you're going to go, right? I was in France for about three years, you know, so this is my first time in Turkey. Mm. Um, so just being able to move at a moment's notice, right, and adapt to a culture, environment team etc you know so it's, it's it's been an amazing experience it's been an adventure <laughs> a grind you know but i'm i'm really thankful yeah i hear turkey has some pretty powerful ancient sites as well i don't know if you had a chance they they, they you know they brought you around did you any specific sites that pops out to you um honestly i haven't doing i haven't done a lot of sightseeing yet you know just the preseason has been really hectic mm -hmm. Don't have a lot of off days right now <laughs> but um later on in the season you know when i get some more off days i'm gonna do a little bit more exploring um but I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of beautiful architecture out here and you know for me like i said it's it's always amazing to experience a different culture and and you know specifically the food i love the food out here it's amazing <laughs> yeah I, um, I was just telling everyone um in general you know it's it, it it's like you said it's a grind right overseas versus <laughs> here so i'm telling people like hey it, it's totally different like luca like when you saw luca come into the nba exactly. the reason why he's so dominant is because you know he plays he played overseas for so long exactly the total different mindset and uh even from the mellow family what i learned in that regard and talking with them it's a total different space of awareness versus right, that's the word, playing <laughs> And honestly, even just like, you know, culture wise, you know, America, um, from my experience living in France, living in Europe and being the, the, the differences in obviously food, culture, 
just everything, you know, compared to America. You know, America, <laughs> everything is poison. Everywhere you look is poison, you know. Um, and I think in Europe, it's a lot more refreshing, you know, to be able to not feel like everything you eat is going to kill you, right? Um, so f f in that regard, it's, it's, it's really refreshing to see. Um, but like I said, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to be able to experience a different culture and, you know, different lifestyle, different pace, you know, so. Yeah, to, really hi cool. to highlight what you said, a lot of GMO infusion that goes into the soil and crops here in America is actually banned in most of Europe. Exactly. If like at least 90% of Europe, I can, I can say that with a, with a stamp of approval. So right. yeah, it's a total, total different space over there. And I'm sure, yeah, it, it's, you're already, you're already experiencing it. You're feeling it. Mm -hmm. And, and um, yeah, what's, what's next? When does the season start? Um, I have about, what's today? I have about a week. I actually have a, a tournament this weekend, but the season officially starts, I believe, in about a week or so, a week and a half. Um, Preseason has been going on for the past two, three weeks, you know, so um, just getting adjusted to the, the, the area of the team, um, the country, you know. Um, but, yeah, the season starts in about a week or so, so definitely excited to get the ball rolling. And as someone who is into breath so much, I want to ask you, how does the air quality in France compare to the air quality in Turkey? How does it feel? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, now, specifically where I lived in France, I feel like I was in a, I was kind of in the mountains, you know, and comparing, for one, comparing it to, you know, Los Angeles, which is where I'm from, um, it's, you know, night and day. Obviously, Los Angeles, it's, it's a lot going on out there, you know, yeah. so that was definitely refreshing, um, living in an area where it's, it's a lot calmer, you know, um, but out here, you know, it's, it's, I would say that, um, I would say that, because I live in a small city, you know, so it's, it's really hard to say um, compared to France, but I would say that the air quality in France was, was great. You could just feel like it just felt just more brisk, <laughs> honestly. Mm. But, yeah, compared to Los Angeles, you know, it was obviously a lot better. Beautiful, brother. Is there, is there anything else you want to share for even um, other athletes out there when it comes to using the scaler and, and stuff of that nature? Um, um, honestly, you know, I have a lot of my boys ask me about the machine because obviously, you know, I posted a lot. It's been really helpful for me. And I would just say that, you know, if, as, as a athlete, hooper, whatever, I think it's a great tool to use for recovery. And not just that, you know, if you're trying to, um, I guess, raise your vibration, you know, so to speak, it's a great tool for that as well. You know, because I use it, like I said, for my food, for meditation, you know, I use it for different experiments. Um, so it's just honestly a great tool to have. And it's not as scary as it looks. I know a lot of people, <laughs> probably, <laughs> a lot of people probably think it hurts a lot and, you know, it just looks scary, but. Yeah, I, I play. I played ball at this uh, community center and I brought it to show the kids. I'm like, see, before, before I go ball, I'm blasting myself. And they're like, does that hurt? It looks like you're shocking yourself. I'm like, right. do you see me reacting? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. and, and then when I, then when I jump as high, you know, and <laughs> do all this stuff I do, they're like, okay, okay. There's something to this. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But no, honestly, yeah. I think I think it's a great investment. Um, as, as actually, a lot of my boys have probably <laughs> already purchased one. So um, I think as an athlete, it's it's, it's really a, a great investment. Fire. And I do want to say, you know, you can, uh, have you been getting the emails I have. about utilizing it in different ways, the education behind it? Because we're not just, I'm not just pushing your products here. Right. So if you can share. Honestly, absolutely. You know, even before, um, I got the product, I was doing a lot of research and I appreciated a lot of the information, science-based and backed um, information that you posted, right? In order to kind of give an idea of the science behind it, you know? Um, but for me, you know, I'm always learning different things about from one of the machine, from the emails, and also just, I'm very curious, you know, I'm a very curious individual. And 
the the machine to me i feel like plasma and it being scale infused like that's that's so phenomenal to me you know so i'm always curious to learn other ways i can you know use it you know in, in my lifestyle or whatever so it, it's been a really cool gadget for me honestly and a great investment fire brother i do want to share if you haven't yet i'm gonna put out an email and newsletter and blog about inhaling it because i had a i had someone comment and ask me about diabetes and stuff and it, it correlates because it okay. also correlates with the insulin plant as well but that, i'll save that for the newsletter or a live but you can obviously uh boil boil this insulin plant and inhale it and it's the same concept of inhaling the plasma right. as well in, in between sessions or games and man <laughs> you're inhaling electrons you're inhaling you're inhaling ions that also cleanse out any quote-unquote proteins if you will right. that is, is affecting the body in a malicious way right and it's crazy to say that too because like i said you know i use it for um meditation and i even tried because I, I believe i watched one of your videos or i think it was one of your emails right but incorporating it in the breath and i was able to feel even just doing deep breathing like right? putting it you know close to my face and just inhaling it i could immediately feel just a surge of energy you know and it kind of spooked me a little bit you know because <laughs> it was it was new right um but like i said it's been really cool to just experiment and um and and just use in my in my day-to-day -day lifestyle but it's been a really big help for me you know just basketball wise because obviously it helps in my energy you know so um i'm really curious as to use it for for other for other ways in my lifestyle fire brother well it, it was an honor again and can you please share your name with everyone who who's watching and where to find you because i also post this on youtube okay yeah my name is ife lua joshua Ajay. you can find me on instagram um but yeah, it was a pleasure to be on your platform. Thank um, you, you're a pioneer. I appreciate the work that you're doing. You know, it's 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 really changing lives, honestly. And yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really honored to be, you know, on your on your platform. Thank you, brother. Won't be the last. And hopefully, I get to ball with you one day. Who knows? <laughs> where do you Where do you live? I'm, I'm in Miami, okay. but I told myself if I were to travel anywhere, I'll still bring a basketball shoe. Yeah, okay. bring my exactly. basketball shoes, and I just okay. want to play ball in at least once anywhere right. i go so that's like i'm off the turkey man i got you <laughs> oh all right bro much love much love bye love everyone peace, peace.